Today we're going to be switching out a dishwasher. This is an electrical tester. You don't need to touch the wires. You just have to go to the wire that has power in it. You can buy this at any home center, a Home Depot, a hardware store. If there's electric and it's live, it'll indicate and I'll show you how it works. We're going to show this electrical tester, okay, to make sure that the electric is on right now because it was working at the time. And then we're going to show you how to shut the electric off and to make sure it's safe to remove the dishwasher. Now my assistant went downstairs, he, found, he located the breaker because it was marked dishwasher. Now he's going to test it again just to be on the safe side. No power. No power going to that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the box, disconnect the wire nuts, and we'll be able to, at that point, the wire will be free. Then we just have to disconnect the water in the drain and the dishwasher will come out very easy. Single screw always. We take the wire nuts that are here. Clockwise. Straighten out the wires, makes it easier to remove. You have to remove this screw to the Romus connector. Slide it out. to the wire nuts for when you reinstall the next one. Underneath the dishwasher area there is something like this that supplies the water to the dishwasher from underneath the sink location to the dishwasher. A lot of people used to use copper. Now they make this braided hose which is much safer and easier to work with. In this case since this washer was already installed there is one of these underneath there already. The next step is I'm going to show you what valve to shut off. Your hot water feed will have a T which has a separate valve for your dishwasher. This one happens to be a quarter turn, it's now off. Now we're up to the point where we're going to be disconnecting the dishwasher, the water supply. There might be some water left in there so don't panic. We have a little container that we can stick under there and just take as much water out of the hose. It's not going to be a bath, it's going to be whatever's left in the hose before we're ready to disconnect the drain and this dishwasher is ready to be removed. So next we're doing right now is taking off the hose to the water supply. Just keeping this little pan here in case there's any water in the line. As you can see it's minimal. It's flowing down slowly but it's on its way down. Okay. This dishwasher tailpiece, it's called, is already on for the drain. But if you're doing a new installation, you need to purchase one of these. What this thing does, it just replaces the tailpiece that goes into the trap. And it has this, where the discharge hose from the dishwasher clamps onto here. Be careful when you're putting that hose on, please don't put a lot of pressure, because the weld around here is just a very thin weld. They do make this in PVC. I don't like the PVC too much because the heat from the dishwasher can make them be flimsy, can't cause you a leak. This can take the heat from the dishwasher. I'm going to show you now underneath here where the hose is to be disconnected. The clamp that holds this on typically has a 5 16 nut driver or you can use a screwdriver. Loosen this up to give it a little bit of tug out of the way. Disconnect from the drain. That's it. A lot of times people in houses have mica countertops where the dishwasher gets screwed from underneath here with quarter inch screws so it doesn't go through the formica. In this case we have granite tops. So this one has side brackets that is additional when you buy a dishwasher you have to ask for them because it gets screwed 
to the side of the cabinets so the dishwasher doesn't come out on you. So that's what you got to pay attention also. And that's the last thing we have to do is take these two screws out and this dishwasher is ready to be for the trash. Okay, now we're going to remove the dishwasher. Now we have the water shut off, the electrical is safe to take it out. We just disconnected the discharge hose. This thing's ready to slide out. Let's show you how easy it is to slide it right out. That's it. Dishwasher is out. Leave a little dust that this has been in there for a while. And then we're going to show you on the next stop how to install a new one. See you in a little bit.